Hmm. Hee <laughs> All right, I forgot to mute myself or unmute myself, so I'm now actually speaking. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm well done. Um, Amazing. Today we're going to be streaming um, me finally playing through Dawn Trail. Um, I've got Thankred Slag and a surprise member from my free company today, Oz, with us today. So, um, you know, let, let's get this shit show going because it's going to be a shit show. I can promise you that. It's <laughs> like the best part. Right? When it's the four, when it's me and Thankred, it's already a crapshoot. But when there's more, it turns into even better. Have you ever considered going into marketing? Me? I mean, I guess I could, but I don't want to. You are such an idiot. <laughs> That's the point. Greetings, um, Ash's chat. How are you all doing? I'm not really uh, here. You are oh, absolutely okay. here. Um, we've been I, over this. For those that don't know, I'm Slagator. I'm a nerd. As if anybody here presently isn't right. Can confirm, oh. he's a nerd. I'm I'm a partner in crime. When it also, uh, you know, I, I I tend to do this Twitch thing as well. Sometimes, so does Thankred. Not um, really. I mean, you just say not really. Maybe. I mean, you you've got affiliate, so yeah. you do it. Yeah. You have to report yeah, it on like your taxes that. now. I also have affiliate, and I don't do shit. I have not made a single cent, so I... no. Me neither. <laughs> I, I mean, we have Sajochi, who's not even real, so... Hey, look, yeah, cutscene. Yes, who, yes, who lives in uh, the void, apparently. Neither north nor south. Yes, he lives, lives in Virginia, in a, I told you. Kind of so cute, guys. Sajochi is just an entity. Hey, Zach, I'm streaming Dawn Trail. Oh, what is streaming? No, that's a joke. Oh. You were joking. I'm sorry. I'm tired. It is earlier than I usually wake up in the summer. I know that person. I don't. Hi, Zach. Oh, but hello oh. and welcome. I know that person. Hey, Zach. Apparently, we couldn't catch a side she dead in Virginia. I don't know. Hey. So, what's so they're from Virginia. <laughs> Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Zach is the owner of the Discord server I just invited you to. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I see a little bit of a rivalry going on here between um Exes and, <laughs> and Zach. Fine, since Slag called me out, I'm gonna give myself a shout out because screw you. <laughs> How about I give you a shout out? You do that. I'll i I'll tell you what, I'll give you a shout out, you give me a shout out. I where I just like we are patting each other's backs. Bite me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your issue, woman? Jeez. Oh, wait. I have to wait two minutes before I can do it for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, screw you. Don't follow him. He's an idiot. No. Although he does give free idiot lessons. Not today, though. Free idiot lessons. He does. Love free idiot lessons. No, those are stupid lessons. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. A free stupid lessons. Yeah, sure. Are they? An idiot is purposely uh, uh, um, malcontent and annoying. And uh, stupid lessons are... You can't really know how to give them. You just do. <laughs> Better be stupid. I... <laughs> I... I... Why are we even friends? I'm not even paying attention to y'all. I'm reading. <laughs> Who are you, people? You can read? I can Why? read! Why are we, Well, let's see. Um, Sounds fake. Oh, Gee, a couple of years ago, um, I, you know, was super, was super shameless and, and said hi to you, and then we became friends then. Sounds legit. I think you were. See, still I, dancing I became and, friends yeah, with Yeah, you were still Grid dancing in Crystalia. My friend then. decided to be mean to me, and then Thankred got to know me and found out that I'm weird, and now they can never leave. She can never leave because she knows well, too I much. I hunted you down and called you out. What's your problem? And, and now you can never leave, leave because you know too much. <laughs> yeah, that's what the last people who left said. Oh. Damn. <laughs> oh. 
It'd be funny if it weren't true. Probably. <laughs> it's kind of funny because it is true. Also, probably. <laughs> That's valid. No! I'm trying Damn it! <laughs> <sighs> yes, it is morning for me, Akalia. I know it's not for you guys, but welcome! I'm finally starting the actual story! <laughs> Greetings, Akalia. How are you doing? <sighs> I'm gonna cheat. That's... That's against the rules. You can't do that. Whose rules? <laughs> Whose rules? <laughs> Who? 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 The, one, the ones Who? that say don't cheat. Well, I haven't seen those rules anywhere, so I'm cheating anyway. I don't need a shout out because I can just link it, so bite me. Yeah, I might just have to now, since Slag just shouted oh, out to himself um, on mine, I'm going to have to ask him to shout out to me on his. <laughs> oh, wait, you already did a shout out. Never yeah. mind. Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't even see it. Um, by good. the way, guys, uh, for those of you who weren't here yesterday, if I get to 69 followers, Tankard and I apparently right. are going to be taking pictures in their basement in game. Sir, ma'am, miss, <laughs> honey. Child, lady. <laughs> was that only for yesterday? Yes, that was a yesterday thing. Nope, it is a yesterday thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nobody give them follows now. It's too late. Aw, no. Oh, oh, and um, since uh, you both are affiliate, right? Um, tomorrow, if you start, uh, you, you guys can be or are eligible to be watched for drops. Wait, what? For what? Yeah. Wait. What? Yeah, the uh, the chocolate uh. The chocolate, the choker poker mount, the choco poker, choco poco. Yeah, sure, whatever it is. Uh, a, in you this can get game, a thing? I don't know yeah. what the promotion thing was. I didn't look How at it because I already have the mount. Uh, so basically, I mean, the, you could follow the... and unfollow, and then follow and then unfollow, but it would only no. count as one. Yeah, it only. So basically, the way it works is, um. Participating for uh, basically any for a Fantasy 14 streamer that is affiliate, I think um, you can just put uh, viewer rewards as one of your tags, and uh, that's pretty much it. They watch you. They have to do something, uh, and they'll get a, like a, a a thing from Twitch saying, "Hey, you 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 watched so long, you get this reward." Cool. It's, oh, really? Cool. It's for one, three, and six hours. Six hours. It's a chocolate choker poker mount. Cool. Do we I get anything it. for streaming it? Uh, you, you, oh. I think you already get the reward. You automatically get the rewards. Oh, cool. Wait. Bum, 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 I thought the number was different. I'm losing my mind. Yep. Apparently, I have 172 followers. Yes. Yes, you do. Either. Uh, I thought it was less than that, but apparently not. I don't know. Checks self. I only have 67, but we're getting there. Um. Well, ex it doesn't say exactly how many I have, but it's 1K. You should be able to check in your analytics. I don't know. And uh, uh, no, I have access. Just I'll check for you. One thousand thirty-nine. This is starting off very Road to El Dorado y for me. I love Road to El Dorado. I love the that movie. movie. It's so fucking better. great. Actually, hold up. I love how um, Aaronville just doesn't want to go back. I mean, yeah. Um, it's funny because I started as a rogue and Oz here plays as a bard. So does that count? All right. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I can't see that from here. Um, so I'm, I um, Yes. Do you have your um, stream manager page? Yeah, I'm I'm at it, or I can be in about two seconds. Okay, I'm curious. Your last um, stream summary. You can just screenshot it and put it in the um, our uh, 
server. Oh, uh, analytics? Stream summary? Okay. Yeah. I'm curious what your last one was. All right. What do you need? Do you just need the eight boxes at the, at the top? What? Yeah, whatever. Just the summary page it has there. Oh, just screenshot I got this it. Gauge. I should read this. Like here, actually. I'll screenshot mine so you can see what I'm talking about. Do, 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 do. Jesus. Uh, yeah, put it in the uh, in the co-op Discord room. Okay. Um. Yeah, here we go. We're not in danger of missing the boarding call, but maybe we should head down there anyway. There. Like that. Okay. Oh, am I going to get my first voice scene? I am. There's yesterday's or Saturday's. Savoring the okay. uh, um, Feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. Friday? Yeah, we gotta work on stuff with you. The fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. Do not be so quick to relax. Hey, look, it's the oh, quotes to from the opening movie. The short sail away or the map. trailer. The vast yeah, you'll mm -hmm. get to see some of those a few times. Mm. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Bufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Perhaps, yeah. but my I shared my last three. three. Disappointingly so. Either way, the two of you Ooh, have first time experience. Really good, actually. Which will be a Considering I have a tenth of your followers, that's not bad at all. Like I said, we gotta help you out. Help Slag out or me? Well, yeah, you too, but... I, it's nothing. Well, I'm no, supposed she's... to be Slag's manager, so I gotta help him. Um, <laughs> At well, this point, you're also mine. You. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just be straight up with you. The expansion launching has... It's time. I uh, uh, it, it's... Yeah, I, I, I give it, I'll give it a month until things pick back up. I don't know. I'm yeah, the girl. My, my average of 75 viewers progress for the Path of Partner is uh, 1.3. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's um, at like 5 point something, and that was probably I, due to yesterday where I had averaged 7 so viewers. Does our ship cast off from the I'm curious what mine is now. We sail west. Um, let's see. 80 years past. Bound for the new world. Known to her children. My highest amount of viewers at one time was 22, and I don't remember what that was even for. Huh. That's um, I think at one point I had... Path to partner, my average is 15.92. Sweet, Papa. When this uh, contest is set, I don't even know. It'll be your no. daughter who sits the throne. Me, Wok Lamat. Oh, uh, let's see. The highest I've ever had was like legitimately, a legit viewer count was uh, probably mid fifties. Uh, illegitimately, I will say it was over a thousand for a second. Hmm. I know, I'm so tired. Sorry. I was watching, and I'm just like, who's that character? Before I realized it's your character. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I can't believe you forgot what I looked like so soon. You Listen, I just saw the NPCs. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's not like you saw my character yesterday or anything. She's a warrior of light. Who the hell is that? Miss my wife, Tails. <laughs> I don't know. I'll give it some time, but between the expansion and just tired and all that i'm starting to think maybe it might be time to hang up this game and streaming and move on with life you know you just man. announced that publicly right yeah i don't care Smooth okay so far. like i said maybe 
I am going to give my streamers a warning, though. My phone is probably going to ring um, in the not-so-distant future, and I'm going to have to mute myself to take a call about my car. You're, you're going to warn your streamers? They're my viewers. Warned. Shut up. I'm... Nah. I mean, technically, you are. We are your streamers. Yeah, you guys are joining me, so I'm warning you as well as the viewer. You are a superb linguist. I never said I was. Actually, you did. But anyway, uh, I said I, I was mean, a writer, uh, not a speaker. Would you say that? Oh, would you say up. you're a you're, you're a cunning? No, I'm not gonna say it. Seems an age ago now. I'm too sober for this. I knew Tyrell was far, but it's another thing. Hey, Slag. No. You got any extra pills? Which, some of our <laughs> Any extra pills? Like Yeah, man? you said you took your meds. Where's where's mine? Share. Come on, man. I legally cannot share that with you. What's your point? That is illegal and unsafe. Why not have a chat with them yourself? You must be fun at parties. I was a pharmacy oh, okay. technician. <laughs> I am fun at parties, but not when it comes to my meds, okay? My meds are mine and it's a controlled substance so it requires me to keep track of it at all times i have the worst friends in the entire world no you don't i do because all of you are too stupid to take a joke <laughs> i wonder I if it's that we're not know. taking a joke or that you falsely believe your joke is funny <laughs> oh shots fired um i'm just gonna let you guys know that because i'm actually like playing and listening to shit i'm half listening to you guys oh trust me it's probably no, for yeah. the best <laughs> I, I know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> i am also I half back. listening I love you. no goodbye no where the hell are these notifications coming from I don't There's know. There's been like 30 in two seconds, and I have no idea what's going on. Probably an old muted server or something, or a mute a server that you didn't mute that's hump uh, popping off for some reason. Oh, yep. An old server just got, like, raided by a bunch of spam bot at everyone's expense. Uh... Who the fuck is messaging me? No, I'm hearing it too. It's somebody hitting the soundboard. Oh, it's Thankard then. <laughs> I, I genuinely thought. I can tell it's a soundboard because the quality is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who does the same thing and it's like, bro, <laughs> get a better fucking audio. Hey, clip. look, Purr's logged in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. It's not Give my me clip. But it's some... Look at me. Okay, I'm Look leaving now. Me. Bye. Oh, what? She left. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was Thangrid from one of my streams. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> <laughs> I have to go text her now. <laughs> Thanks, what like, was that happened? you? Which, does she actually leave? Yeah. No. What have you done? I haven't used that in forever. That was me. I'm sorry. I should just delete it at this point. You that was should. So funny. You know, I feel bad. Um, 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 um. <laughs> the prodigal son returns. Oh. <laughs> Slack said he feels bad. You should, because you're an asshole. I don't okay. think he knew what those was, were. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what they were. I'm sorry. Mm. I apologize to Ingrid. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> I am oh, not no. benevolent today. I'm tired. <laughs> Slag's dead now. Oh wait, I'm gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, he always plus. <laughs> Rip slag. He'll be okay. Or did he leave too now? Oh, he left. He left. <laughs> and he's back. The prodigal <laughs> summer returns. 
copycat? I'm not. A, I'm not. Well, my character is not a son. Technically, it's a daughter. I'm not Here, I thought it was a giraffe. Um, I'm a giraffe. I had to, I put up a party finder because I realized that I could do that while I'm just doing story shit. <laughs> Don't forget uh, to set the eye level. I did. Thank you for reminding me, though. I level for what? On the party finder, you set it to 999, then no one can actually join it. Because I forgot to oh. do that once and someone joined my party finder. And then you were just like, I don't know what to do with I this I feel person. so bad. I didn't want to just kick them. You're like, hi, get out. <laughs> Someone made a Thankard's face fixing mod? What? What? Oh, mods weren't working right now. Yeah. yeah I didn't even I mean, use the launcher. I used the regular launcher today. Just because I knew mods weren't working and I didn't want to deal with that. Don't say that! Yeah, you, you're gonna get oh, banned. Oh, shit. Well, fuck. Oh, they are. Rip. Wow. Rip. Oh. Rip cut his account. It's, it's gone. Can I mute that part? <laughs> no. It's already, it's already out into the internet. It's gone. Whatever. Well, okay. Yoshi okay. P knows. Yoshi P knows. <laughs> as I'm pretty sure as long as you don't. I mean, I'm not using anything. It's just yeah, as long regular as you don't launcher. Use them. I don't know. They've been weird on bat policies. I just have heard through Grapevine, basically, that they weren't working. I yeah. don't really know how to use them anyway. <laughs> knows. I really don't. There's so many I, different things to it. I have like modded several games, but I don't like I have done modded Stardew Valley, but only because Oz had to walk me through the process of actually doing that. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is updated a lot since so I gotta I gotta get to fixing that. I mean, I'm waiting for shaders to update a little bit. This way. I mean, the shaders oh, I have are okay. Oh. Shaders I have, are, they work okay right now, but like, they are a little bit jank. You're not, not wrong, Sajo Chi. I mean, I understand mods that actually affect gameplay and like banning those mods, especially for an MMO. Yeah, it kind of comes weird. But uh, hot take on that: the um, the extreme zoom out mod. I've never used that. I don't know what that is or what it does. So no, oh, it's. It was brought to attention because um, when they were doing, what was it? I think it was uh, Omega Savage or something like that. I can't remember, but no, I forget what it was, but they uh, they had a, they had a very like, extreme zoom out mod. They could see the entire battlefield. So that was, yeah. I mean, I guess the argument could be made that that one's okay, but that does still affect no. gameplay technically. So I just, I understand banning mods that affect gameplay specifically. Um, and anything that has like an, ex um, an extreme zoom out that lets you see everything could technically fall under gameplay affecting because you can see everything. You kind of get that unfair advantage. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So on one hand, I understand the mods, but like reshaders and like um, graphic stuff is definitely harmless, in my opinion. Not that I really use those. Actually, I don't even think I use those or have used those in any game. Because if I need to reduce the brightness, I just do it on my damn monitor. Anyway. I'm finally done talking to these people.
Mm-hmm. It got very quiet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. To figure something out. Hey, um, Sazochi, what's the what's that new Monster Hunter game that's coming out soon? Monster Hunter Wilds. Oh. <laughs> it, I hear it's pretty good. It looks fantastic. It, I, it's it's more um more akin to World than um Rise. Because Rise felt like an arcade game. I loved Rise. I may play it. I mean, I've been branching out away from 14 a little bit lately as well. You know, like, um... Storm, it seems. I love World how World Kaida's Rain. eyes literally look like they're glowing. <laughs> In the dark. I've been needing a reason to finish this? So if you have a way to play it, I would play it with you. I don't know... Wait, what? What you mean? I don't get seasick. I've needed a reason to finish Rise, so if you've got a way to play it, I'll play it with you. I'm just feeling a little nauseous, is all. Um. Isn't that what I seasickness do is? You have a way to play it, but at the same time, I'm like. Aaron I'd have to uh, go through the process <laughs> of learning it all, all again. The Shetona, as my people are called, that have man. settlements mainly in the oh. north, in Shaktural. Oh, and welcome. We have a new viewer. Greetings. Who does new phone? Not even his name. <laughs> As for my mother, the fuck you just say? Agreed. Uh, who does new phone? Who, this new phone? Who does? No, I heard. I, yes. Yes, I know. Okay. Yes. That is. That is. Whenever someone joins a call, or you know, it's like, oh, new phone. Who does? <laughs> Yes, I know that, but you said it backwards, which is why I made a comment about it. Oh, I didn't realize he'd said it backwards. I did? Yes, you said, who dis new phone? Which is why I was like, the fuck you just said? <laughs> I mean, it's still the same question, though. That's almost as about bad it. as that reel I found. The only point was that you said it backwards and I was making fun of it. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this? Oh, Jesus. okay. <laughs> My brain cells are dying by the moment. Imagine having brain cells, brain cells left to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I I, yes. I noticed Sajochi, that too. this is true. You 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 let them come at you and say hello. Before or since. So Aaronvel's the one narrating the expansion. It seems. Weeklings. <laughs> the I literally love though. Starship about like a toy. That Kaida's eyes glow in the dark now. The dauntless Alize, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. What? <laughs> oh, sorry, I just got an IRL tell. Meanwhile, our champion rushed to deploy the vessel's mass. You mean a message? And thereby shield yeah, one of those. <laughs> oh, they flee to the depths of Reddit. <laughs> Ew. What an extraordinary life she must lead to be able to. I don't think I could ever go that low. They're like a deer. You can't look directly at them. You have to let them, like, kind of like wander over to the feed. And you just hit them with your car. It could also have been my pre-roll ad too. Threw herself into the rescue efforts, though one might have mistaken you know? her for another soul in distress. That's what you mean, right? What? He said they're like deer. Oh yeah. So you hit him with your car. That, mm. <laughs> By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength. See, a collie gets it. <laughs> We had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. Because that's very much so what I did when I saw a deer. Not on purpose, but you know, when three of them are in the middle of the interstate, you don't have a whole lot of options left. That battle against the storm that is a fitting prelude. Alright, I'll take option C. Um, 80,000 pound truck. 
<laughs> I mean, at least at that point, you're sure that you're gone. I got a <laughs> sedan. And yeah. I have a mm. van. That that very much so totaled that car. And it really, really sucked because then I was stuck in the middle of nowhere in Iowa. Oh no, not Iowa. Oh, it was awful. You could see where you were going, but it just took you like four hours to get there. It was dark. Oh. So you couldn't even see where you were. It, it was like 11 o'clock at night in the middle of nowhere. Oh, how'd the sky look then? I don't know. This was like, I don't know, eight years ago or something. Because I love the sky. It is, um, the sky is really pretty at night in Iowa. I wasn't looking at the sky. I was looking at the three deer in the middle of the freaking interstate. <laughs> oh. Sounds like a you problem. That does sound like a you problem. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go hug a train. Okay. Have fun. Okay. Uh, I won't be back. I'll see you in the next life. <laughs> no, you're not invited. <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Love you too, Thangrid. That's your problem. <laughs> Good morning. Joining us for some fresh air? Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Yeah, that is amazing, Sajochi. Uh, can't be much farther now. Seabirds. Seabirds. Fucking seagulls, damn it. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. Okay, so. For a dark moment, I, don't I thought know. the ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. Sajo, yeah, I do have to agree with you that. Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the land. Oh, sir, if you're just joining us, Ash is Ships have to lower uh, going through Don Trail. Too close, and they <laughs> yeah, I'm going through Don Trail slowly, slowly but surely. I'm, I'm there you go about and... Shirley again. Oh my god. Uh, when you get a chance, Ash, you do need to put a spoilers tag somewhere in your uh, thingy. Oh, yeah, I do. Spoiler. Uh, can I do that while I'm in stream? Uh, just uh, hit, if you're what, OBS or Streamlabs. Uh, I actually have the stream manager open, but I have OBS. We did what we were paid to do. Oh, you should be able to just uh, like click an edit icon somewhere. Here you go. Spoiler warning. And now everybody Did you dies. just say it or did you add it? If anything, it should be us. I just said it. For helping us through that beast of a storm. As a matter um, let me see, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. I can add it. Okay. Get rid of the Kingdom Hearts We won't be able to lay wagers no more. <laughs> then I better not let you down. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god, oh fuck. In that order. Oh no. Already then. Easy. There you go. It hey. has been updated. See, that's what you got me for. I appreciate you. If there's nothing else, uh, let's Don't do that. I am just so glad that I'm finally able to fucking start this as the class that I want to play through as. <sighs> and looking at this water makes me want to go swimming. <sighs> Blue seas, clear skies, there it is. boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Um, if Wall fell off of the boat during the storm, would they be expected to swim to Tural because of plot reasons? Enjoying yourself for a I mean, you can breathe underwater, so what's your problem? Right? <laughs> oh, 
I mean, mounted, you could probably go faster than that freaking The twist boat. faces do look a little messed up, though, Satoshi. I see what you mean. Wait till you get to the part where they messed up the graphics and Alex say looks like an 8-bit character. Oh god, I'm scared. It's definitely a game issue because I've seen it on everyone's uh, screen, not just this. To my home. Ta-da. Wait. Shh. Yeah. Did I? I... I am mad. You're always mad, though. Wait a minute, why could I do... I'm so confused. Don't trail! Uh, Akali is asking you a question, Thangard. What? Huh? Um, it was fairly early on. Wait, what? God. Aww. I've seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tulihyolal are still few and far between. And as we don't build seafaring ships, I think it's actually here that it's messed up. In a minute, anyway. Mamulja sells swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lomins mm -hmm. and merchants to secure employment in Eorsia. I suppose that makes us a rare sight in your country. Rare and currently undocumented. Were there some forms we should fill out or... Forms? Did you forget who you're traveling with? Mm -hmm. You are outsiders? Visitors to Tural? We are. It's a mustache, you can remove it. Soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? I can answer that. These fine people are allies in my succession bid. Th third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well. Of course. Is it Hildebrand or is it Godbert? Accept our apologies. No need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. We'll be continuing our patrol then. Well, well. You really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? Anyway, first things first. I Ooh, but he, uh... to 
Oh, okay. Right back. What instance are you in? Oh wow! Oh. Hmm. Uh, I I took a right turn and I saw something. That was cool. I thought it wasn't until later that she actually admits it. much later. It's not disdain. He'll explain stuff later. Are you actually talking? Because uh, Kalia cannot hear you. Somehow it muted. It 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 muted for some reason. It's fixed now, or at least it should be. Sorry. I still haven't gotten called by the um, car place, and they've been—they called me an hour and a half ago. So I'm wondering just how long this fucking diagnostic is taking. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get something to grab. I'm gonna grab something to eat. Okay. Start. All right. All right. Why? Mm hmm. I said, why? My. Get you in a bit. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I'll be right. on here for a couple hours, so. All right. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to keep things running, and of course, I'll be playing. So if you need anything, message me. But these headphones are killing my ears, so I'm going to get off for now. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 I will catch you later. Bye. So it's. <laughs> just me and Oz when Oz gets back. Um, so I'm probably going to be quiet a lot while I'm actually trying to read, and I apologize in advance for that. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Nope.
I appreciate you, Slag. Side bevy. Great, we have an accompany quest. I love those. I don't need to read that shit. I don't need to read that shit neither. Is what did you do with the molting spider? The obligatory gold dance in the sparkles. All right. Uh, I have a lot of places to go. All right, so let's run around and get these. Oh, she found the molt. That's fun. Are you sure it's still in your house? Ah, no, no, no. I don't want to talk. I want to eat the right. Fuck you. And a hush fell across the land. Everyone's gone. Yeah. Um, they... Slag's getting food. Um, Thancred's headphones are hurting her ears, so she popped off for now and uh, told me to message her if I need help with anything. So now I'm just running around getting etherites. Fair enough. Ugh. Or I guess ethernet shards technically is what they're called. Oh, yeah. Fucking whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts 3. Because I modded it into the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and made it an actually good game. I mean... Our opinions are gonna differ there. I do know that... That's understandable, Sajochi. Um, I liked Kingdom Hearts 3. It wasn't as good as 2, um, but then Nothing again, topping topping 2 is, is, <laughs> is going to be hard. <laughs> Nothing will be 2. No, it's... My, my issues with 3 are really just based around, like, weird aspects of the combat that I just never clung to. Like, I am only just now really discovering form changes and, like, using them, because... During my first run of Kingdom Hearts 3, which I was able to beat in one shot over the course of an evening, which was its own problem. Oh, uh, yeah, I did beat Kingdom Hearts 3 in like three days with a busy schedule. So that uh, I did kind of get upset with was the, it, the I was, length. I was so fucking tired of this stupid, like, Disney attraction ride things. Uh, yeah, OK, I can understand that. And it ruined everything. So I literally have I have a thing that lets me disable them entirely. And now I get to use the form changes and the new weapons. I get to use new kinds of strings. Everything isn't endlessly floaty. Like there's actually ground combat, which is wild. There's like ways to string combos together that don't end up with you just getting hit in the ass by something off screen anyway that you couldn't have reacted to because the camera lock isn't weird. Like it's it's a lot of weirdly specific minor things that just stacked up over the course of playing the game. Gotcha. <laughs> That's understandable. I um I would have preferred dry forms over these the attractions myself in Love three. Um but I did and a lot of the issues that I've had that people have told me about or that I've read about are story issues and I was like okay that's understandable but I actually liked the story i liked that it was less i hated that um frozen and tangled were basically just follow us following this progression of the movie that's, that's i the hated that felt, tangled the these worlds have always been though yeah kingdom hearts I, worlds have always been like that story gets interjected into the story of the yes. movie i also yeah. really hated frozen because they put let it go in there like the actual song why did they have to do that like they could have just uh, like 
let it go, let it go. Sora panned to the side and Sora's right there. <laughs> like, that was so unnecessary. So, yeah, no, that that whole sequence was fucking annoying. I, that one? I think I got that one already. I did get that one already. Um... Uh, hope we find some ingredients around here. <laughs> this <laughs> this looks like a great place to find ingredients. I see a lucky uh. emblem. Yeah, that's... Mm. Mm, all that stuff gets frustrating. Yeah. Um. It's like I 100%ed this game before legitimately playing it by myself in my room while I was in college. So like running through it now, I literally just have a thing up that shows me where all the fucking lucky moves are so I can just go get them and be done with it. Yeah, I did that too because I actually I ended up missing there. one in Frozen that I couldn't get after I'd beaten the world. And I couldn't figure out why. And I'm not even sure it was unattainable after I had beaten the world, but I knew that for whatever reason I could not get it. Yeah, I, like luckily I haven't had any of that issue. Like... Alright, this map feels unnecessarily big. Like, this world map just feels unnecessarily big. Like, worse than, than the foundation. Is that just I like a me the opinion? The foundation's pretty. The foundation is pretty, but like this this map itself for the for the new world, the new um city hub. Oh no! Bankrupt's computer just suddenly crashed. Uh oh. Um rip, rip I don't know if this computer. Yeah, right. I don't know if this is a, co a comment that people have been having for their own playthrough, but this this map just feels so <laughs> There's, there's only one negative comment I've been seeing consistently about Dawn Trail, and I'm not going to talk about it here just for just for the reasons, but there is one consistently bad thing I've been hearing about. I might have already heard it, but so I don't I don't know. You can say it if we'll just say that the that the new character is not likable oh, and is very oh, annoying. Oh, oh, yeah, I haven't met that. Oh, you mean the female Hrothgar? I, th I think so. I think it's a male character voiced by a female actress, which is causing its own source of Discourse. internet bullshit. But like, just the character itself is very annoying, supposedly. Gotcha. I don't know. I haven't experienced it. I haven't watched it. I don't know anything. I'm just saying what I've been reading. And that's like the one complaint I've seen about Don Trail. Okay. Um, I am just a little, like, this, this, this city HUD map just feels unnecessarily large. My pizza's done. Hold on, beer bag. I'm jealous. I want pizza. I'm gonna be making quesadillas for my kids after this, though. So, I guess that's okay. this dragon cryle and wook Lamont with me throughout the entirety of the goddamn world. Yeah, I'm having 10 a.m. pizza. What about it? I would love 10 a.m. pizza. Though I, technically it's 11. It's closer to 11 than it is to 10. This is fair, but also... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna double check which etherites I haven't gotten yet. Okay, so that's the only one. Cool. Drop the flag. And figure out and pray to God that the way I'm going is the way to get there. <laughs> the one bad thing about finding a new city HUD is getting all the ethernet shards. Yeah, there's a bunch of cities in the fucking base game that I still don't have all the etherites for. <laughs> That's not a bad cue at all, Thankred. I already got these ones. I really hope I'm going the right way. I think I am, though. 
my queue to get in was only like 40 something. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. We. Oh, there's my call. I'll be right back, my friends. It appears it is now my job to be entertaining, Teehee. Hello, Kaida's viewers. This is a hijacking. That's... Man, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works at all. I could be wrong, but I really don't think I am. I don't think that's how that works. I don't think well ever, and I consider nothing. They're trying to ask for a thousand dollars for a tune-up. I'm losing my mind. That's fucking hilarious. I have the call hey, muted and you guys back on, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like pissed. No, whenever I do car stuff, I go to a local place instead of one of those big chain places. Hold on, I gotta meet again. And start singing, I guess. Um, singing what? That's a good question. Because I think if I hum any of this Kingdom Hearts music, I'm going to get fucking DMCA'd into the dirt. Yep, I love the guy this fucking <laughs> Vita where it looks like she's falling asleep. He's just passed out. 
Whatever my heart desires. Damn. And now I gotta text my husband because this is this is ridiculous. This is literally insane. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. That's true. Charging it up there. Donald finally learned cure. Let's go. Odds are they probably did, just because I've been seeing this happen, like, everywhere. <laughs> like, my my fiance just got a new car because the one that she had was shit in the bed, and literally to get it handled anywhere would have costed more than just getting a new fucking car. It wasn't even that old. I'm back. I have to go pick up my car after the stream and we're going to be doing all this ourselves because it's literally just the coils and the plugs and that shit that we can do ourselves with a friend of my husband helping. Yeah. So, because because we're not we're not paying a thousand dollars for a tune up and then I can take my car to Jiffy Loop and get an oil change for a hundred dollars. Can your friend do an oil change? Um... I don't I know if my friend can do an oil if the friend can do an oil change we can ask but my car definitely needs an oil change because because what was going on the there is now gasoline in my oil tank or a little oh, bit no. because of the way my engine was running and the coils and some of the coils were bad so it's yeah 
So after my stream, that's going to be a fun, fun day of shit. Um, my husband just texted me, said that's highway fucking robbery. And I was like, yeah. So. Yeah, don't blow yourself up, please. <laughs> um, we have a mechanic friend, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to reiterate to ha my husband to have our friend help. Which is ironically our friend's name is Dio. Nice. Which, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I just find hilarious. True. But anyway, so that's fun. All right, he said he already asked. Because I'd feel much better knowing, because yes, my husband was able to successfully change out the plugs with the wrong plugs, by the way. So Jiffy Lube gave us the wrong, or not Jiffy Lube, AutoZone gave us the wrong shit. Um. So, yeah. Watch you, Mickey, Mickey. I think I said that. Watch you, Mickey, Mickey. This economy is literally just terrible, Akalia. I don't, I don't, I hate it. The fact, like, shit that would have cost, like, $300 four years ago is now, like, 400 times more. Not really, but, like, at least three times more, and it's, it's disgusting. Oh, fuck. See, I'd rather pay 450 I would be, I would happily pay 450 over... A thousand dollars or one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars was what they were telling me. I should probably put on level 890 gear. Better. I forgot that I wasn't wearing the right gear for my level. Okay, so the way the city's built is 100% plot reasons and the size is 100% plot reasons. I still hate it though. This is this is so much. It's so large. For democracy. It is a dark day for democracy. Are you playing um Hell Drive Hell Divers? No, I'm looking at Twitter. Oh, oh. You should probably not do that. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck are the rest of these goddamn hidden Mickeys? I thought you said you had a thing open for it. Yeah, but I still have to get to where they are.
Oh, that's part of the issue. Yeah, that's valid, Akalia. I would do that too if my car wasn't bought pre-owned um, from a second-hand dealer. Um, one of the things I think I actually said yesterday, one of the things that's going to happen if I end up getting a new job and they have a signing bonus is to buy um, a newer vehicle car, probably from a dealership. Because then I could go to the... Um, then because they'll sometimes they'll they will usually do um oil changes for free too well at least i don't have to go that far for this one Oh, nice. I'm not talking. I'm reading. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> that's why you can't hear me, thank you, because I'm I'm reading. I, I'm sorry, I can't read and talk at the same time. Would you like me to voice what's narrate. saying off? And yeah, I was, yeah, was going to say, literally just voice everything. Do you want the spoilers, Oz? <laughs> I'm still a three whole expansions behind. I'm not going to know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> All right, well, then I guess I'll just start voicing shit. Here comes the Mickey voice from that 3 a.m. Praetorium run. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. Do you guys want to hear the Mickey voice? That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Legends say it used to be one of the great landmass, one great landmass, but long, long ago, the two gods fought a titanic battle, and when one threw the other to the ground, the impact was so devastating, it was split, it has to split the continent in twain. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mickey saying twain hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that for the whole thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I am put say, in the mind of the conflict between Heidelin and Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, fuck! I took. Kalia, <laughs> you shouldn't do that so that you can actually laugh. <laughs> uh oh! Welcome to the final days of Amorot. <laughs> Thank you, back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, then I'll do it again. Getting back to the Zo to Zoctoral, those lands are also part of Tuliola Nation, correct? You were for a second. We finally had peace. I am more interested in continuing the story, actually. Party recruitment will end in five minutes.
The lord, those sand textures Ooh, hurt nice my soul. Party finder. So how noticeable was the graphical rework? Um, pretty noticeable actually. Kinda. Is it good? Um, it's definitely noticeable in the clothes. Everything does seem a lot brighter though. Is that a bad thing? No, not necessarily. Um, I know some people are so upset with the uh, graphic update that they're actually considering quitting because it messed up their character, apparently. I personally don't see how. I can't imagine the graphical update is that intense to have just, like, ruined a character. I'm gonna say a hard doubt on that. I said, but... oh, nested hot bars. I'm not getting into that, Sajo Chi. Not on stream. But I'm just saying, I know that there are some people who are very upset with the graphic update. <laughs> if you know, you know. I know Thangra oh, had issues with it, too, and had to spend time trying to find the NPC to fix it. <laughs> Really? I'm probably not going to be able to get very far in the stream because now I'm being sent to like four different places by my husband and if I don't go do it before he gets home, he's going to be like, well, what are you doing? I was like, well, I told you what I was doing this morning. Yeah, life stuff is kind of... Important. Cat, important. Can stop hitting my, my arm there. I'm kind of in the same boat in my own existence right now where it's like I've I've been doing too much of the nonsense and not enough of the life stuff. So yeah. I'm in, I'm in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I love how we just talked to Wuklamot and then I have to talk to her again to continue the story after I just talked to her. Cat, please stop messing with the fucking mic arm. No, it's fun. I, they're accompanying me. Uh, I hate accompany quests. They're so annoying. Where am I supposed to go? Directly to hell. Yeah. Do not pass go. Do not collect the energy. <laughs> <laughs> How far away is this? Okay, it's not that far. That's not that bad. All right. He told me to get parts and we'll fix it when we get home. And I was like, if I can afford it, babe, you know I have very little money because of my stupid shit. Because of your subscription to Final Fantasy XIV. No, it's not even that. It's I just my um, health insurance double or quintupled because I added my family to it now, so it's not just me. Uh oh. Yeah, that's fair. Um, So my paycheck went down like $250. That sucks. Like, it's important and, and good conceptually, but damn. Yeah. Um, hey, Dutch, what's going on? I thank Please don't, please don't tell me anything. I want to know, but I don't want to know. All right. I'll probably go till 12 and see how far I can get in the next hour and then call the stream for today because uh, real life stuff is calling my name and I can't neglect it anymore, unfortunately. But um, so far, I'm interested to see where it's going. Um, I have heard a little bit of how it's not that great. So, Kat, I need you to stop messing with the control arm on my mic. Oh, it's fun. She, he's rubbing up against it like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get scratches from this big metal thing on my mom's desk. Yeah, it's fun.
Okay. But yeah, no, Sajo T, I absolutely adore how we keep getting the, oh, you know, you can do this, this, and this, but if you do this, this is going to happen. I'm like, this is the 17th follow quest that we've done. Do we need to continue doing it? Um, yeah. I'm, but yeah, Dutch, back to your question. I'm enjoying the story so far. Um, it is starting kind of slow, but I kind of expected that. I went into this expecting that this is not going to measure up to my favorite expansions of the past because it is starting a new saga. It's kind of like how if I go into Kingdom Hearts 4 expecting it to be as good as the previous saga when it's setting up a new one, I'm just stupid. You know? Like, I know, I know this isn't going to measure up, so my expectations are managed, and I'm hoping it meets the ones that I have that are um, managed. It's not going to be a total reboot, Sajochi, um, because Sora is still going to be the main character. They're still going to be have. They're still going to have Riku. They're still going to have Kyrie. Um, We're like, just not dealing with Xehanort anymore. There's, yeah, it's going to be focused around Quadratum and what being in this afterlifey kind of thing means for Sora and how we can get back to the world we know. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm expecting, Dutch. And I'm hoping that that is where my expectations... I hope it meets at least those expectations. Like a lazy river versus the big, like, splash mountain slide. Uh, that's understandable, Sajo Che. Kingdom Hearts definitely is not for everyone. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people go into it with the wrong mentality for it. Like... If I recall, Sajochi started playing because he made a deal with his wife. If, right, Sajochi? And you were going to play all the ones, play through all the ones that you owned. Cat. He made a deal with his viewers. Okay. So he made a deal with his viewers to play through the ones that he owned. Um... So now he's playing through them and doesn't really want to. <laughs> and going into it with that frame of mind is definitely not doing you any favors, but I don't know. Like I'm because he talks shit about the series was challenged to play them. Are... <laughs> Talking shit without any experience definitely gets that kind of response. Um, I would say that I can see where one is slow and hard to like really dive into, but if you're going into it with a bit of understanding that it is, you know, originally intended towards children, it is cheesy, it's fucking Disney, <laughs> and look at it for like the combat and the action game aspects of it, maybe even like the collectathon aspect of the early 2000s that it is. Like, you'll end up, you'll end up feeling better about it when you're going for a different kind of objective, other than well, I'm just playing it because I was told to. Grr. You know, it's you, you have to be a little suspension of belief kind of thing. I had to do that for the Hildebrand things, and it's very hard, believe me. I love Hildebrand. I hated him at the start. I still don't really like him all that much, but I'm suffering through it. We're getting more Hildebrand. Oh yeah, no, calm. Um, good luck, my friend. You're gonna fucking no, fuck hate it. Chain of fuck chain of memories. Don't even bother with that one. It's unfortunately it's important for the story. It it is, however. All it's important for is that it gives you a little bit more context for what's going on in 2. I, as somebody who adores this fucking series, Chain of Memories is one that I only ever played maybe twice and has never beat. Can we and agree, though, that Recom is the worst? Yes. Okay. Yes, 100%. Literally, I as a kid, I went from... One to two. Or not recoded. Um, recoded. That was the one I meant. Oh. Recoded is the worst. 
Recoded is not great. No, it's just a rehashing of one, but with one of those Data like um, there's a little bit of plot stuff that's important, and it's like, damn it. <laughs> um. Oh no. Like one. One is slow. One Two is, is the best slow. of all of them. Chain of Memories is ideally negligible like it gives you a little more context for two like you'll have less of the trying to figure out what's going on for yourself kind of thing and more of a ah okay yeah i know what's happening here but it doesn't it's not required it is not required reading like you can get away with not playing it I did as a kid and was perfectly fine enjoying to and understanding to as the plot was revealed to me. Wook is a Wook Lamont is afraid of alpacas and I don't know how to deal with this information. That's way off topic, I know, but like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah wow, that came out of nowhere. Unpopular opinion, I think, because I don't hear a lot of good things about 3D, but that one is my favorite. I didn't love it. Mostly just because I kept getting shunted out of fucking boss fights at the end. <laughs> I I liked the story. I liked the gameplay. It's all around my overall favorite. Objectively, Kingdom Hearts 2 is right next to it for me. But also, I'm biased for um um King. I'm I'm biased for 3D because of playable Riku. So that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kingdom Hearts 3 had playable Riku. Yeah, but that was before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And also, Kingdom Hearts 3 is like, yes, the graphics and everything two. seems like an update, but story-wise, it doesn't measure up to me for... I said the 2. Ones. Oh, 2? Two. 2 had... 2 had playable Riku? Yeah. When? During the Xemnas fight. Oh my god, one part. <laughs> <laughs> That's playable Riku. <laughs> one part. There was a whole story. And dream drop distance. I'm just saying. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Oh, sitting at the destination. Following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Okay, I don't have any duty duty finder registrations, but okay. You got this, Sajoti. I believe in you. Wook llamas. That's. <sighs> That is eye roll worthy, and I wish I could have my eyes roll. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. The Tulioli saga. Study them as long as you like. Can I take two seconds to look at them and then be done? That sounds like a great idea. Huh. Cat something. I can never remember the name. Yeah, no, no. Have fun, Akalia. Go eat and have food and um, Yeah. Sweet, Lynn. What? I don't know, the story the story of three still pisses me off a little bit. At least the way it ends. I hate the ending too. 
Like, you wrapped up 20 years of game in a, in a conversation where the bad guy goes, Oh man, I kind of was an asshole. And, he, and the other guy's like, Yeah, you were an asshole. You should stop being an asshole. And he goes, All right, he I'll got, stop being he an got asshole. Talk no that's jutsu. the end of the game. He got talk no jutsu. <laughs> it's, it's like, What? <laughs> This motherfucker has been obliterating the universe for 20 years, and you call him an asshole, and he go and he starts feeling bad, and that's the end. And then, <laughs> and then fucking Sora. Okay, the one thing that also really pissed me off was like I understand why they did it, why they basically booted Sora off of Destiny Island and all that other shit, but like, why do they have to go through the whole? Oh yeah, we're gonna fake kill everyone and then bring them back and then have Sora be the actual true, but not true death. Well, they did they didn't fake kill everyone. They did super actually well, no, no, no. kill everyone. When I say fake kill, I mean they killed them and then we went in time and brought them back. That's fake right. killing. It's not like a true death. Right, but it, it sets up Stora having that power and committing the taboo that gets him killed. Like, you, we had to set up Sora getting the eternal punishment. But we all know that he's going to be coming back. There's an atonement in all these kinds of stories. There's something he has to do to earn that freedom back. Like, that's that's why we're in Quadratum. I'm gonna say conceptually, like, yeah, okay, bum, like, hell of a fake out. I don't but like there, fake outs like that. Like, I got really upset. Um, I get really upset when we get those big, massive fake outs. Because it's just, it feels cheap to me. And then Sora sure. retired and married Riku and adopted 15 cats. Might as well. Like, if you're going to kill your characters, kill your characters and keep them dead. Don't be a coward to bring them back. I don't know. I Typically, I agree. Then again, I but also have, I have a biased case, opinion for that due to Homestuck. Well, that's that's your own fault. That is my own fault. <laughs> Um, I typically I agree, like, don't do bullshit, no consequence deaths, but like, there was a consequence. But then when Sora comes back, was there really a consequence? Yes, because like every fucking game, when Sora loses everything, he has to earn it back. He has to figure out how to solve whatever the main problem is to get his power and his friends and his life back every fucking time. This is just the new caveat to do for that. that. I guess that makes sense. Moblin. Moblins. Oh my god, they've got Moblins in here now. Was this fucking Legend of Zelda? Like, they had to do something more dramatic, like the loss of everyone, to really justify him going to that length and being put in this position again. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's just... Ugh. Yeah, I, I feel like, and I know, and I love Kingdom Hearts and I'm probably going to keep playing until the end, but three could have just been like the final end to the series. Three could have been the end, except I'm glad it wasn't like, I'm, I'm always going to want more out of this kind of combat system. This is the only game I know that does a crazy fun combat system like this. Yeah, that's true. Like, not counting Devil May Cry just because of its shit-ass camera, <laughs> this this game was sort of my staple for, for action games. We can move to the second half. Sure, I would love to go and look at the other four pillars. At this point, I feel like I'm just skimming. And I feel bad, but... That's sort of how I felt through the end of ARR. <laughs> 
The end of ARR was like somewhat good. The beginning and any all the fetch quests in the middle were in going as shit in ARR. Um, the patches were way too long. I know why they were as long as they were, but they were way too long. Um, and then I started paying attention again, really, in Heaven's Ward. Yeah, that's sort of where I'm at. I should pay rent while I'm thinking about it. Might be a good Ugh. idea, yeah. Sometimes I wish this game could be full voice, but I understand why it's not. Yeah, near raids. Oh fuck, I just got punched by a gigas. Oh damn. Had your fill of history, I definitely fucking did. Cat, I swear to Christ. Cat, don't you dare. Stop. I'll take it to the best restaurant in the city. Why do I feel like it's the only restaurant in the city? <laughs> it's very well might be the only restaurant that I'm even able to go to. Oh, okay, so it's not. That's good at least. <sighs> at least I don't have to deal with the fucking follow quest right now. Have you ever had tacos? <laughs> Boy, have I ever had tacos. Is that a... Never mind. Huh? Nothing. Uh... There's two... Old <laughs> two taco places in the city. <laughs> no, there's tacos in this game now, Oz. Fantastic. That's all I've ever wanted. There's <laughs> tacos in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Because what fantasy of mine would not have tacos involved? Right? I'm just wondering now where the hell we're going to see Graha because... <sighs> he was in the trailer. But spoiler reasons makes me wonder if we're going to see him. He's dead. He's not. Graha's dead. No. <laughs> I can't believe you just spoiled that for me. What? My companions. Graha doesn't exist. He no longer exists. Graha's dead. Hey, look, scores here. Right away, promise, and I'll pack them. Cat has committed a cardinal sin. <laughs> Killed Graha. You and your Killed Graha.
Did you hear the silver scares are back? Seems their overseas foray ended in disaster. Mm. More than half their warband is missing, including their leader. Oof. Well, Ains, that's gonna be important, I bet. Aye. And now keen to rebuild their broken reputations, the survivors seek the Golden City. <laughs> A fool's errand. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. The legend of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. God, I wish I could play is, longer. But as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale. Like our skeptical Erinville. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. shit. Just jumped off a cliff. Oh, don't do that. Actually, yeah. no, you can't do that in Kingdom Hearts because there's no fall damage. Spot with a pleasant view to enjoy our yeah, but then I have to climb all the way back up. <laughs> oh, then yeah, then don't do that. Oh. <gasps> no! They destroyed the tacos! Oh. Mm. <laughs> if it isn't the third promise. Man, I wanted to eat those tacos. Oh. No. I don't know these ones. Huh? New salt. Dredge from four You're fucking kidding me. It was in front of me the whole time. <laughs> I walked around this like three times saying I knew there was an emblem up here somewhere. And I thought it was one of the ones that was like etched into the walls, but no, it's like a bunch of things or like sitting in front of each other in the right way. Oh. Wanted? Bakul Jaja? Stupid dumb idiot mode. Such an honor. Glory on your name, brother. <laughs> and on yours, brother. I know my rivals for the throne. Nothing more. Another child of the Dawn Servant? No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to their farce of a family. Unlike the sneveling house cat, we are blessed house siblings. House cat, oh the wow. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja as Don servant. All peoples are equal in Tuli Hyola. Your heritage gives you no greater claim to the throne. <laughs> Shall we test that idea here and now? See if your strength is equal to ours. None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. <laughs> the kitten comes to the house cat's defense. Wow. Mm, pathetic. Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? Listen to me, you. We have to go get more tacos now. Mamulja. I knew of them. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> 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 
some get it into their twin heads that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. So they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. Those are likely the ones you've heard about. Are there other two-headed claimants? No, just Bakul Jaja. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. Hmm. The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubio, the Bunewa, so we've got the Salamanders, the Chameleons, and the Dopro. And the... I don't know Everyone's what that one looks closest to, a kind of lizard. A two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Ubico and the blue-scaled Bunewa. The child grows to possess immense strength, both physical and magical. There ain't going to be a match for me. Indeed. Forget them. Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth. At least someone said it and we're getting more tacos. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the rite of succession. Shall we meet you there? Aw, don't get my tacos. The palace it is. I'll let Wuklamart know. I wanted tacos. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? Tacos? God, what the fuck is a taco? Uh, so it goes. Okay. If these guys have to fucking follow me again, I'm gonna cry. Oh, thank God. Okay, um, I can just go to the etherite. Etherite's right there. I know where I'm going, I promise. I don't, because I just started. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside f sufficient time to watch these scenes in their entirety. This will probably be the last thing. Sufficient time. This will probably be the last thing I do on stream. <laughs> and I'm sad about it. I don't know if you want to start this chain right now. I Sometimes these work for a while. I already did. Fifteen minutes is not sufficient time. Twenty minutes. Hurting a bunch of unruly curls. They are still children. No telling what he might be, what we might be in for. So, duty? Am I gonna have to go fight someone now just because he thinks it's funny? Probably. I hear voices or noises. I hear fighting. Oh, I bet I'm probably going to see Thancred for the first time. That's my guess right now. Nope, it's Astinian.
they look like they're having fun. Estinian? When did he get here? You would know if you talked to him. What's the point? Why is he here? Oh, you know this man? Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them to Sun Perch to duel. Mm -hmm. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. So I'm probably gonna end up having to fight him if the trailer says so anything to say one about it. Estinian is crossing blades with. Oh hey. That's one of the treasure boxes I missed, I think. <laughs> nice. I will do, Spearman. I will receive my darling daughter. <laughs> Estinian's face looks softer. No, that you are the strongest. I think everyone's face does. Well, yeah, but Estinian, who had just like very harsh, like specifically Estinian, his face was always very harsh. It just looks a lot like, I don't know. I don't want to say childlike, but definitely softer. If it's formidable you want, then look no further than that woman there. Thanks, Estine. I appreciate your vote of confidence. <laughs> I see you, warrior. <laughs> I've been spotted. We had no idea you meant to visit Tyrol. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. <laughs> and thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. You I like that title, it. itinerant if dragoon. You thought he was fearsome. That was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. The old man has been feeling his ears. Calling your dad the an old man. The side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Lamachi. A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. Cute, I guess. Did we see you in the palace? And great in Southern Ash. It's Erinville now, don't servant. <laughs> I took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. Hmm. Erinville then. And these others, I assume, are Lamati's recruited allies. Ha! All tempered steel. Yet as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Fun. All right, this is where I'm assuming then I'm going to see Thancred again. Good fortune, my friends. Bye, Stinny. I'll see you later.
nope. Damn. Maybe? Damn. That bitch. Ooh. You don't like him. Are assembled. Okay, so it doesn't seem as though I'm going to be fighting against the him for the throne, promise, at least. Zorolja. The second promise, Ona. I feel like that's the character everyone hates. The third promise, Uglamat. <laughs> And lastly, the chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja. You four will compete in the rite of succession, the outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Servant. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. Okay. All the lucky emblems for other worlds I've been to Yay. are complete. Tuliola is young. And so I look to the always. We got some new equipment that are actually pretty good. The right of succession. The means by which the Autarch of Mamuk was chosen. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuliolal I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamulja at all. I mean, that's a very <sighs> interesting premise. But that guy seems very racist. So I gave the right of claim. I'm looking at that green-haired guy, and I don't think I'm gonna like him at all. But to my adopted children, he as looks well. um like Yet a dick. The opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> now you have us to compete against. Ah, oh, though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> I don't like that guy at all. Our brother was in shock to Rol leading the Landsguard on a campaign to eradicate a Tural Vidral. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Now for the part you've been waiting to hear. The nature of the contest itself. to triumph in the right of succession and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yocturol and find the city of gold. <laughs> okay, so this literally is the road to El Dorado. Fantastic. If I may, Father. Speak, Kona. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend, but after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? Are you for us proof? The true golden city is the friends you found along the way. I have seen it with my own four eyes. 
And I love the Red Eldorado. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to get to play through the story in Final real? Fantasy Dawn Trail. All those years. <laughs> this was before the founding of Tuliobo. I travel the lands of Toral with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. I mean to have you do the same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Special seal time. Brenda. Yay. So how many fetch quests am I going to need to do to get that? Looks like a fucking parrot. Yay, stone tablets. I love stone tablets. The Tuliola saga. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Earn their keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. Nope. Because why can we skip? Exactly. Exciting, isn't it? Martial tournaments, hunting festivals, and now this? You do so love your contests, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, give you a proper challenge. You may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both, but I am yielding our nation's throne. Let me have this final indulgence. T a waste of time. Just name Bakunja a successor and be done with it. Just name me the successor and we'll be fine. No, I refuse. The right of cessation begins now. I'll be watching you progress with great interest. This guy talks like one of my old students and it's really bugging Remember me. Remember to collect your tablets before you leave. Like, I know what's a stupid thing to nitpick, but I'm nitpicking it and I hate it. <laughs> At Isit, my reaction was, oh, I, so, yo, uh, you missed it. But I was like, huh, I kind of hope we get to see you Thancred. And then it was Astinian. I was like, oh, or we'll just see Astinian. It wasn't all that, um, it wasn't all that, that pronounced. <laughs> representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? Ah. Uh. Yay, welcome back. And I'm going to be ending after this cutscene. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. Even so, we I unfortunately to have to go do um car stuff. So City. I can't stay longer, much Addressed longer. Which is unfortunate. Gary. I would have liked to have done more and it's frustrating. 
But if my car's check engine light hadn't come on on Saturday, none of this would have happened. But it is what it is. A piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? <laughs> yeah, I wish that was the case, except my car's running as if I, if I keep running it and drive the road trip I'm going on on Wednesday, it's going to explode. Claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of succession. But once the contest is decided, I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you have best help Lamachi win. Not when the explosion could potentially result in my death. Very well. And that of my children. <laughs> Which is the only reason why I care. My kids are far too young, and I love them to pieces. Sometimes, most of the time. But that's beside the point. Thank you for hearing my petition. Slag, what are you doing here? Thought you were doing your own stream. How about that? She's grown into a remarkable young woman. You should be proud, Galov. I really hate his voice. It it genuinely reminds me of one of my students who I could not stand to listen to talk. <laughs> Probably, yeah. That would make sense. Too late to change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? Our third promise is not one to take no for an answer. <laughs> Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. Not the first time I've been placed in the heart of political you turmoil. Guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. I am gen of all of this so far. I'm the most curious about Arendelle's story. Life. Man, I hate Frozen. Of journeys, you are? my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long. Said, man, I hate Frozen. <laughs> But what's important is that Arendelle story, right? <laughs> Arendelle. Only then Damn, close enough. we can right. be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Hewn, you just kind of ruined the- I was wait- <clears throat> Yo! Spoilers, please! Is that so? I will speak no which more. One, which which, which one? Which one? Huh? Did you say please give me spoilers? I said please don't give me spoilers. I can you just said spoilers, please. I don't know. I... Oh, you mean in that scene there? Okay. I'm trying to go through this as unspoiled as possible. Here they come! It's Sorolja! Such a fearsome mean. Make no mistake, there goes Duriolo's mightiest warrior. Hey look, the guy has the same haircut as me. First promise, our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. Why are you looking like you're happy about it? Once you ascend the throne, I gotcha, gotcha. You. 
Grant my people new lands, please! Sir Elja. That's true, Dutch. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Wait, I think this is the character that Thinkred had told me about. The one that doesn't talk, but has other people talk for him. And then I wasn't going to like him. First promise and commander of the Landscout. Sir Elja, the Palacea. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Sir Elja is indeed the natural child of Gurul Jaja. And resilient son. Is that another title, like the first promise? Oh. After a fashion, common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soralja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves... I know a hardened soldier when I see one. He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. Ah. Conquest. Yay. Conquest? Conquest. Oppositions to Fire Emblem Conquest. Who advocates for the I love Fire Emblem. Peace. Fire Emblem is so good. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Oralja. The warmonger. Kryon? Are you alright? <sighs> the Echo... Oh God! Gave me a glimpse into Zoralja's ambitions, deep and unknowable, like an abyss. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. Great. So he wants to become the it new trifle, terrifying to uh, be Garlean Empire, I guess it seems. <laughs> Second promise, you must bring us more marvelous conveniences, more dirigibles and trains and the like. We need you in charge to make trading easier. The elders, they come yeah, Minty Graha. I guess that makes sense. But we're not like them, afraid of everything foreign and new. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're sure to win the contest. Forgive me, but the right of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. All right, I'm not sure how I feel if about this guy. Excuse me. I don't like his outfit, though. Plain Despite the fact that it looks a lot like my Gunbreaker outfit. Maybe it's just the color. That's our corner. Impractical to a fault. Here we have Kona, the second promise, who spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studium. That's why he's a dick. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was too rally, much less from a royal family. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. <laughs> so it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. Dirigibles is a fun word. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. <laughs> as aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter as only close siblings do.
<laughs> How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser Claymonts. Uh-oh. That's understandable, Sajo What are you afraid of? I'm no different from your dawn servant. That my kind should reign is Mamulja tradition, and has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feet. This guy is a tyrant. And then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> <laughs> well said, brother. No soup. Go make soup. The Mamuja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Ah, a pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. The chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament. And the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable. But... You see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. Yeah, I did feel bad for the tacos, too. What would he do with the throne should he win it? His policies and so forth. I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. And they all left before Wook Lamot comes out. Wow. That's depressing. Yeah, bye, Sajochi. Thanks for coming. We wish for one thing and one thing only, Third Promise. To abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. <laughs> It is our way. Oh my god. The Turoli way. It's a fucking parrot. Uri Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Until Tuliolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era. And they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies. It's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. No one else did, so at least someone is. I place our precious third promise into your care. Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the Rite of Succession? Of the Dawn's promise? I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona. Who's far and away the most educated of the bunch? I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. <laughs> it's fine. More than anyone, I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better? Wook Lamat. I have never thought of I you think as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but...
But you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. Yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. Yay. I wonder if this scene's almost over. Probably not. Like I told you. <laughs> it's already been half an hour. Like, 35 minutes. I fucking told you. <laughs> Anytime it warns you about that, it's usually an hour. Uh, actually, after Heaven's War, or after A Realm Reborn, it was really only 45 minutes at max. Okay, but you still knew that, and knew you had, like, not I even 20 over. minutes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Like, you knew. <laughs> <laughs> I did know, but it's fine. This is fine. Anyway, guys. Will it, will it be fine when your husband comes <laughs> He's not. He's he's out of sight. Then he's doing sign inspections. Then he's coming home. I have. I honestly could stream for another hour, but I'm not going to, because I I do need to get this done. And if I don't do it now, I'm not going to. And I know that because I know myself. Anyway, I will see. Okay. You so I'm leaving now. This is the end of it. I'm out. I will see you guys next time, which will be in a week. Um, thank you guys for coming. Sorry I can't stream for longer. I'm a little upset and frustrated myself because I really wanted to get through the story more, but, you know, it is what it is. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!